Hey guys, Ken again here with a Witcher 3 intro video. This video is to let you guys know how I feel about Witcher 3 on the PC before I start uploading a complete playthrough of the main storyline. This game has so many hours of gameplay to offer that it is impossible to show you guys everything. But I will do my best and I will upload the highest quality content that I possibly can. So they are saying that this game is 30 times larger than any previous Witcher game. The game even features traveling by sailboats, riding horses. You can fast travel around the world if sightseeing really isn't your thing. They're comparing this game to Skyrim, saying that it's 20% bigger. And it's like, wow, all I have to say is because I am an Elder Scrolls fan. But honestly, I feel like this game is bigger than Skyrim. Now, is it better? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. So going into the plot without destroying much of the game, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt will end the story of The Witcher, Gerald of Rivia. Continuing from the previous Witcher, Witcher 2, the ones who sought Gerald have since perished and Gerald just wants to move on with his own personal life. Now isn't that the dream for us all, but who am I to say when a Witcher deserves to rest, right? Well, Jared starts to notice that the world is changing around him and the world goes back to the Dark Ages with a new army appearing calling themselves the Wild Hunt. And they are invading the Northern Kingdoms, destroying everything in their paths. So it seems like Gerald must come from his retirement and stop the Wild Hunt because the Witcher seems to be the only possible solution. So let's talk about the game and some of its features. The world reacts to your player. Your actions in the game actually affect the world in many ways. There's never really one way to complete a quest, but the way you choose changes the outcome of that quest, if it makes sense. So Project Red is standing behind 50 hours being dedicated to the main storyline and another additional 50 hours for doing side quests. I know a lot of fanboys out there will disagree with this, but here it goes anyway. In my opinion, you don't need any experience from the previous Witcher titles to enjoy this game. The game is filled with plenty of tutorials to bring just about any RPG fan into the game as if you're a Witcher Pro. Now I'm nowhere near a Witcher Pro. I played a little bit of the first one and a little bit of the second one, but I've never completed either one. But this is probably the most fun that I've had with any of the Witcher titles. So the game is similar to previous Witcher games, but the Wild Hunt has improved in several areas. Uh, for one, the combat system revolves around a more action-based RPG combining the use of magic and sword slashing, whatever you want to call it. We have more new mechanics like Witcher Sense, combat on horseback, the use of boats, Swimming and diving. And the use of crossbows. So Gerald can now jump and vault over obstacles, giving the game not exactly, but an Assassin's Creed feel. Don't quote me on that. Let's talk briefly about the skills and abilities in Witcher 3. You have four different skill trees, combat, signs, alchemy, and general, giving you a max of 70 points to invest. Sadly, you can only equip 12 of these skills at any given time. Good thing is you can swap them out whenever you like. There are two ways to earn points, by leveling up, finding places of power. So this discussion is so in depth that it really requires its own video. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wish to read more on the skills and talent trees. Witcher 3 has an advanced AI and a responsive and dynamic environment. You have a day and a night cycle that influences some of the monsters and the powers similar to how a werewolf would gain his powers during the night of a full moon. You also have some weather effects with rain and thunderstorms. All right guys, so that pretty much about wraps up my intro review of what I think about this game so far. 
so far it's really enjoyable i'm enjoying playing it i uh, really recommend you guys picking it up if you're a skyrim fan or you're just a rpg fan or you just want something new to do other than playing wow or or elder scrolls online or whatever mmo that you're playing uh, it's a very very fun game to pick up you guys should try it and i hope you guys like this video if so comment below and subscribe to my channel for more witcher 3 gameplay through videos coming soon can again game